Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel if you are new around here. Um, basically, subscribe, that'd be great. But basically, um, I'm going to be doing like a, as you can see on the, my team name, it's a 320k like hybrid squad builder. Uh, it's a team that I recently made and a team that I'm very happy with. Um, as a player that you know doesn't create no, many chances and you know I'm not very clinical this team very like helped a lot when it comes to creating chances and say I play on fast build up I'll show you my custom tactics in a moment so I thought you know this team I really like it and you guys might like it too so for whatever ado, I'm just gonna ramble on with it so the formation I'm going for is a 4-2-2-2 two, two, two. Um, I didn't really have much success with this formation when I first started using it, but then with this formation I just really started enjoying it for some reason. So basically in goal we have Allison. Um, Brazil the Brazilian nationality is going to be very key with this. Um, obviously as the two centre backs we have um, uh, Militao, Militao, I don't know how you pronounce it, very OP centre back with 79 pace and the defending as well. Um, with the anchor obviously chemistry style on him as well. Uh, our centre, uh, second centre back is Felipe. Now I know you're thinking, uh, 64 pace. Um, he is reasonably slow. So if you were going to concede a counter attack, it's probably going to be on this guy. Uh, but as you can see, his in-game stats. I've obviously I put the anchor, Kevishy style. It gets us a pace up the tiniest little bit. But look at the defending: 84 defending, 87 physicality. Is you know, it's just incredible. Um, his aggression as well. So yeah, obviously in the right back we have no other than Nelson Semedo. No real words to talk about this guy. He's just absolutely insane. That 91 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, uh, sprint speed. The 77 defending, the 75 physicality. He's actually got a lot of dribbling on him as well. So if you were to you know use him to overlap, which I actually don't in this formation for of reasons I'll explain. But very good player. Um, stamina is 91 as well, so he can do this all game. His agility, his balance, reactions, everything is just insane. So definitely worth, uh, get definitely um, worth getting this guy. I'll go through the players' individual prices um, after. So yeah, but in left back we actually have Alexandro, uh, a very consistent player. If you can see his in-game stats, um, but obviously his standard stats: 83 pace, 77 passing, which is quite good. 80 dribbling, 82 defending, and 82 physicality. Ridiculous player, and obviously another player that you can use to overlap if you really, really want to. I've got the backbone uh, chemistry on him. Obviously, yeah, yeah, look at the interceptions, and his defending stats mainly are just his stamina as well. Like, he can do this all game as well, so definitely worth getting. Um, in our left center attacking midfielder, we have Insigne. Uh, Insigne, I can't actually pronounce that too well, I'm very bad with names, but yeah, no, I mean his finishing ain't great, but obviously that's why I'm not playing, he was an out and out striker, um, his stamina is not the best, which is obviously a bit of a shame, but his vision, his agility, his balance, his ball control, he's got 91 dribbling, come on, 85 passing, 89 dribbling, he's an absolute baller, so definitely worth getting this guy, I've got the dead eye chemistry style in him as well, he just seems like a really good player for me. Um, obviously in the other centre attacking midfielder you saw him is Frankie de Jong. So we obviously have some Spanish league players. It's like a Spanish Serie A sort of hybrid. Um, as you can see I've got the catalyst uh, thing on him. I'm just going to apply a contract real quick. But as you can see his in-game stats. His sprint speed ain't the best but he does feel a lot quicker than he actually is. Obviously he's just an all-round player. His shooting ain't the best but he has scored a goal or a couple of goals for me. Um, AZ8 dribbling is absolutely insane. His stamina ain't great, but it should be good for at least 80 minutes, if not 90. If you're playing foot champs, then maybe if you go to extra time, it's probably worth taking him off. But yeah. Um, his vision's incredible with the catalyst as well. Um, so yeah, definitely worth getting him. Now we'll see we have the two CDMs. Now the right CDM, I'm going to go for obviously no other than Luka Modric. I did actually originally have Tony Cruz. Um, he's had like the cheaper option. But his pace was like 40 and I was like, I'm going to struggle. This Obviously, he's got the shadow chemistry style on him. Um, he's just an all-round beast, Luka Modric. I honestly, I've loved using him. He's always there to defend. His physicality could use some work. But other than that, he's just a quality, quality player. Um, his stamina is pretty decent as well. So, yeah. Obviously, in the left CDM, I say obviously, but you saw it. We have no other than Alan. 
who is honestly a really, a really good player. Obviously, you can see his overall stats, 75 pace, 71 shooting, 78 passing, 84 dribbling, 84 defending, 84 physicality. But, you know, his stamina, he can do this all game, and he's just, he's always there. He's always there. Um, his standing tackle was 88, obviously, for me, with the Sentinel. Um, chemistry style, his aggression, his strength could use a little bit of work, but other than that, he's just an overall beast. And him with Modric is very hard um, to get past him, especially with the custom tactics, which obviously I'll get onto. Now, our left striker is no other than Dries Mertens, an absolute quality player. I'm just going to apply a contract to him. But I think I've seen a YouTuber, obviously one of my friends, go HPB, use this player, and he did score a lot of goals for him. His finishing is 86, obviously with the marksman chemistry style as well. His agility, his balance, his reactions, ball control, dribbling. His dribbling is just insane. Obviously, he's got 83 shooting, 88 pace, 80 passing as well. It's not actually that bad. But this is a really, really good player. His stamina could use a bit of work, but I've got some super subs that can replace him, so it's not that bad. Um, obviously, in the right striker, it's actually a right forward, so I'm going to have to go on here. But you can see we have no other than uh, Usman Dembele. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, five chemistry is a bit of an issue, but I've got the sniper um, chemistry style on him. It's got, obviously his uh, 93 pace which is just ridiculous his 87 dribbling if you can get some physicality on him he would be an absolute machine um, but he's just a really good attacking player and he's just he, he always causes problems with whoever I'm playing also the manager I use is just as in a Dean Zidane because well, why not um, that's Sean Dyke um, but yeah no this team I'm really happy with it's it's just an incredible team and yeah, it's a 186, but when I add my impact subs or my super subs, then it goes down to like a 185. But the super subs I use right now are uh, we have Douglas Costa. We have, well, I have actually like, a few I could choose from. Obviously, I have Inform Madison, who's just a machine. You guys need to try this guy out. Um, obviously, I have, uh, where is he? I can't find him. I think I went past him. Did I go past him? I don't know. But it's that Victor Oshiman guy. Um, who is just a machine so yeah obviously I've got Wynjaldum as well but enough of the super subs because frankly you don't really need to worry about them this is the main team you need to worry about um, a lot of the stamina is quite good so squad fitnesses you're going to be saving you know, a little bit on not like that's a big issue uh, if you go to custom tactics these are the custom tactics that I use I use actually to be fair defence I usually use drop back um, and I usually go quite narrow I, I do the narrow minus 2 but the depth I do minus 2 as well uh, on the offense, it's fast build up. You want to be quite wise, right? Up it by two. Player in the box, I up by one. Corners and free kicks, I usually leave the same. Now, if you look at uh, roles or instructions, sorry, I usually set the uh, cams to sort of stay forward. Because we've got Allen <coughs> and Modric, but that's if I'm playing like foot champs or something and I really want to hit him with a counter tap. But usually, I just come back on defense. Um, I usually just get in the box, use them, uh, tell them to get in the box for the cross. Um, and I tell them to drift wide because the, the this is like a 4-2-4, four, four, but it's more defensive. And that's what's so great about this formation. Because when you think about it, if Insigne and De Jong go out wide, it, there's two wingers and two strikers with two centre mids. It's, it's just a no-brainer. Um, obviously, same with De Jong, it's, it's come back on defence. And obviously, it's drift wide as well and um, get in the box for the cross. With Luka Modric and Allen, <coughs> I usually tell him to cut pass in lanes and this is what makes him so great. I usually tell him to stay back while attacking because we've got four players up front and I don't want to be hitting the counter myself. I do tell him to cover the centre though. <coughs> Same with uh, Allen. And <coughs> stay back while attacking. Sorry, I've got a sore throat. I am back. Sorry, I had to sort out my throat. Obviously, cut pass in lanes. It's it's just a really good setup. Now, the the fullbacks, I would say to overlap. Obviously, if De Jong and Signe go wide, there's literally no point because it would be a six-man attack, and it's just you see you're leaving yourself so open. So I just stay back while attacking. Um, <clears throat> I kind of just put normal interceptions. Run type. It's well, I mean, it's I just use mixed attack because it's like it's the default. Um, so yeah, obviously with these three you don't really need to do anything, and obviously neither with Allison, 
Um, so yeah, there's the instructions done. Um, but now I'm just going to cut to some highlights that I had with this team defensively, the goalkeeper and attackingly. And hopefully you guys can get a better insight to what this team is like in game. But anyways, if you're on your rent uh, here, it would mean a massive money if you could subscribe. And if you could like the video, that'd be awesome. I know a lot of my viewers would be like, you know, where's Fortnite and stuff like that. I do want to try and do some new stuff. So hopefully stuff like this can be entertaining for you. But just leave a comment and what other games you want me to play. Um, but yeah, anyways, without further ado, it's been your boy Infopelia. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>